And, you know, as soon as I can get that on, that's, that's when the process starts. And then I get that off and then rocking and rolling again. Well, your backup quarterback, Peyton Derrick, gets intercepted at the goal line. Golden opportunity oh. is snuffed out by Georgia Southern. All right, that's Jalen Moore out for the rest of the season, but certainly has an NFL future on the deep ball. The Eagles strike first. Darion Anderson, 57 yards. Georgia Southern takes a 6-0 lead. After a loss of one, running right up the middle with Williams again. He's still going out to the 45. Not dragged down until the 49-yard line by Kendall Vildor. His play offensively for App State so far tonight. On play action, Peyton Derrick going deep again. He's got a wide open receiver. It's Corey Sutton, who's down to the two-yard line. Derrick playing for the injured Zach Thomas. Second and goal. The push at the goal line. App State thinks it's in but the officials have yet to signal. Touchdown, Mountaineers! Touchdown, Avalanche. Let's go ahead and punt it away and let your defense play. Bowerly averages about 40 yards per punt on the year. This is a good one. Driving Duck back to the 20, he bobbles it. Ball's loose, covered at the 15, down to the 10. Georgia Southern has it. game this year except for one special teams included nice cut fields he walks into the end zone untouched from 10 yards out shy works keeps across midfield big gainer for the eagles here in the quarter Again, it's Shy Works to the 20 yard line. It's up on its way, plenty of distance, and it's good. You're Georgia Southern, you have to be extremely pleased with the way this first half has gone, creating the turnovers, and not just that, but being able to capitalize off of them has Shy Works in this offense ahead. Uh -huh. He's a student teacher at a local elementary school. On the give, it's Fields getting loose across the 30, still on his feet. Breaking tackles to the 45 and out to midfield. In Boone, on second down. Big gainer for Wirtz and nobody's gonna catch it. 47 yards to the house. And Reed is on the John Mackey Award watch list that will go to the best tight end in the country. This time the pass a little high and it's intercepted. Kendrick Duncan Jr. with the takeaway and it's another big mistake made by the Mountaineers. On third down, Wirtz calls his own number. He's got a first down and much more. Finally dragged down from behind at the 30-yard line. He picks up 28 yards. Tyler Bass lined up for a 43-yard field goal attempt. Plenty of distance, and it is good. Let's see where he goes now with a first down and 10 at the 36-yard line. Over the middle, catchable ball, and it's intercepted off the deflection. Kendall Vildor with the takeaway. Was a defensive end at Clemson back from 2007 to 2010. And their father was part of the 1981 Clemson National Championship team. Another takeaway. Georgia Southern getting close to putting this one away. It's Georgia Southern's been able to get works free here today. Yeah, Roddy, you know it's uh, not often as the easiest touchdown of the night is scored by Wesley Fields. 
Do you need to throw the football when you're Georgia Southern and you can run it like they do? Hughes been over the middle, caught. Hannigan able to get down inside the 10 yard line. Clock stops with 40 seconds on the clock to move the chains. Team bowl eligible on Sunday and now looking to really enhance that bowl resume with this one here tonight. Touchdown pass complete to Malik Williams for Jacob Huseman. A team that won only twice a year ago improves to 7-1, 4-0 in league play. Here comes the near sideline, and here come the fans at Paulson Stadium. Huge win for this Georgia Southern program. The first win over App State 2014. Since 2014, the first time a ranked opponent has come to Paulson Stadium.